All right, we're next to the free bannock, and can you introduce yourself and... I'm Daniel Johnson, Green Party candidate for the Cannington riding. Excellent. And uh, what are we doing here occupying Regina? <sighs> this is... This is part of... Part of a demonstration of working solid, working class solidarity against um, a very, very tiny minority of people who have own, who own and control almost everything and have subverted our democracy in order to give themselves even more wealth and power. Um, Is this the people saying enough's enough? And uh... I believe that's what it should be. I believe it could be a lot more. Mm -hmm. Everybody, how's it going? And uh, what uh, what do you think will uh, it will take to end uh, the Occupy Together movement in a way that's uh, positive for the 99% of people who don't have a, a billion dollars uh, and control of our political system and our uh, corporations? <laughs> or if you can't think of the, the one I'm silver bullet. I'm nervous about answering that question. I'm suddenly really, I suddenly just realized this is probably not a good moment because I'm likely to give an honest answer, which is likely to get me kicked out of the Green Party. <laughs> well, you, so, I, I won't put it online. Maybe if you think it's that terrible, but may, maybe uh, it, it we need more people that are. I think, uh, that this would be, I think that this would be a lot. Can I take my picture? Would have been a lot larger and a lot more effective and a lot more that wonderful word diverse um, if it hadn't have turned into. If it hadn't have been taken over by leftists, you think it's a it's a capitalist it's movement into or an yeah. anti-capitalist yeah. movement, or that is to say, leftist in a broader sense. Part of the solidarity statements kind of bug me because, in a sense, that excludes uh, homophobes and racists who I may disagree with them, but they're a large part of the working class and they have something to say too. Mm -hmm. um, those are the kind of issues that it's like maybe we should be looking and going. You know, it's like if gay marriage happens. It's because the uh, it's because it somehow benefits the rich. If abortion remains legal, it's because it benefits the rich. If any of these all these decisions are being made based on what benefits the rich, and we may disagree with each other on all these things from you know racism, homophobia, abortion, and all these other things, and but we're not really going to have a say in those issues at all. It's basically if we win, it's because it benefits the rich in some way, which in the end is uh, not going to be benefiting us. So to have real working class solidarity, unfortunately, a lot of the, you know, a lot of the um, kind of uh, the issues that have divided a lot of the, a lot, yeah, the exactly. issues that have divided us are are uh, are keeping us divided. And but as soon as this movement got going, there's you know that group of people that you know the university educated uh, professional left uh, gets involved, and it becomes it became you know something that it, it didn't need to be it, 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 like. Because it's, if, if it's 99% to 1%, well, the, the billionaires are, are, are not racist. Uh, Obama has no more solidarity with poor black people than George Bush has with, with, white, with poor white people, right? Mm -hmm. the, the rich aren't racist. They'll deal with a, with a wealthy oil sheik or a Japanese, you know, uh, with, a, with a Japanese uh, nuclear tycoon. They'll deal with anybody equally. Um, so... Uh, we don't need, you know, the, the, the anti-racist slogans and stuff and those kind of things. I might agree with them, but they shouldn't have been such an integral part in terms of the statements in that because, they sh you know, like... Uh, it, this is about getting free speech for, it comes for people who are poor back because exactly. they don't have any say in politics you know? anymore. Exactly. And it's like everybody has something to say about that, but they don't all they don't all agree on all the other issues. And if we want the bankers to not be in control, <laughs> if we want bankers to not be in control, then at some point in time, you know, you're not going to persuade people when you get, uh, say, the kind of working class people who would rather be sitting at home, drinking a beer, watching TV, and something moves them. Something makes them decide that they've got to get up, that they've got to get out and do something and get involved. And I've seen this happen. And then they, they, they'll get involved, they'll start coming to meetings, and then someone will tell, will start criticizing the t-shirt that they're wearing. Say that it's somehow offensive or, or, uh, or some turn of phrase. They'll go, you know, uh, uh, a, a guy... Uh, 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 
trying to, you know, it, talking about something and going, well, a couple of weeks ago, me and my old lady, and getting cut off by a group of, you know, of these the university indoctrinated middle class uh, people who, who whose lifestyle is it, or who protest is what they do it's their group fun, activity reason, it's yeah, their yeah. it's their it's you know if we had the absolute most perfect world there are people like me i might be one of them you know who would be out there with it with a you know a sign that says happiness sucks <laughs> you know just because that's that's our uh, that's something that we do for fun but it doesn't inherently it doesn't inherently make those people better and when those kind of people dominate what are supposed to be working class social movements and start gatekeeping and deciding who's allowed whose opinions are allowed to, to who's allowed whose opinions are allowed to come out and going these people are unacceptable um, then you're not gonna you're all you're doing is you're driving those people toward the right uh, it's like the thing that happens you know it's uh, uh, you know, like, um, okay, I like watching uh, the gay pride marches, and I totally support their cause and everything, but um, when the unions are donating money to that, there's a large part of their membership that aren't in agreement with that. True, that yeah. don't want their money going toward that, and they don't have a say in that, and uh, I organize events myself, but I mean, I'm not taking money from any, I'm not taking taxpayer funding or union donations for, you know, uh, for normal Saskatchewan. Um, because, they're, you know, and, and of course nobody's offering them, but I mean, if they were, I'd still turn them down because I don't want to be using money for a cause that the people whose money it is wouldn't support. And when the, the thing about the whole gay lesbian solidarity thing with the, with the union statements, somebody explained all that and showed them the, 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 the brochure that the unions hand out and showed them the videos of the gay pride parade and showed them statements that were that were you know being made about the union supporting that. Somebody showed that to some of those Mexican migrant, fi migrant farm laborers and then people act all wide-eyed when they voted to decertify. Right, mm -hmm. and it's, because it's, maybe homophobia is part of uh, exactly. that, that I'm part of the there. union, and we are not united in the union. So let's start uniting everyone. Yeah. <laughs>